This video demonstrates the process of hacking or modifying a Linux executable. This video assumes that you have some basic understanding of number representation, specifically hexadecimal notation. It also assumes that you have some basic concepts of computer architecture and you have some basic ideas on assembly language and machine code, and you have some skill working at the Linux command line. Here's the scenario that we'll work with. Assume that you have a program, specifically an executable, and that executable requires a password before it will operate. Unfortunately, you do not know the password, and you don't have the source code either, so now you're stuck with this executable, and you have to get it to work, or you're under pressure, and the question is, what do you do in this situation? Ethical hacking permits you to actually work around this issue by modifying the executable. That means you can work around the need for a password check. But before you do something like that to modify the executable, double check the ethical situation and also ensure that it's legal. Here's what we'll do in this demonstration. First, we'll run the program to a debugger to form a mental model on where we want to modify because programs can be large. So it is the debugger helps us narrow down the scope of where we want to do the modification to the executable. Next, we'll disassemble the executable and find the instructions that we want to modify. So here we specifically find the instructions that we want to modify. Then we'll extract the instructions into a text file because text is easier to modify than a binary. We'll modify the instructions in a text file and then use the text file to update the executable. All right, let's first start with working with a debugger. Assume that you have a program called Lifesaver here. That's the executable. When I run it, it asks me for a password and I unfortunately don't know it. So here I want to try and figure out how to work around this password check so I can run the program. So I run it through the GNU debugger. When you run it through the debugger, the program runs. It'll ask you for a password. Here I'm going to abort it by pressing Control C and look at the stack trace. Here in the stack trace, I see that the main method is calling the check password method. So here I get an idea that the main method is the one that's calling check password, and that's the one I want to modify. So here from the high level view, I'm going to look at specifically check password in the main methods to see how I can modify them to work around this password check. The next important thing to do is I look at the type of the executable that I have. Here I see that it's a proper Linux uh, executable. And one important information is it's a dynamically loaded executable. So the information here or the information that we're going to use will be offsets um, in the file rather than just raw virtual memory addresses and that actually makes our life easier uh, Even if it was another type of executable It would still be possible to do this except you will have to do a little bit of subtraction on the virtual memory addresses In order to convert them to offsets, but in this case we'll work with offsets as it makes our life easier All right now let's find out the instructions we want to modify using uh, obj dump and disassemble the executable and I'm going to look for the main method which was calling the check password method. Uh, notice that in the main method there's this call to check password we, we have the call queue instruction uh, this is at offset 6dd in hexadecimal and here's the five bytes of the instruction and I'm going to modify or basically comment out those five bytes of the instruction so uh, the idea here is to replace the call um, at offset D6X by changing it to NOPS, which is no operation instruction. So this is equivalent of commenting out code, except at the machine uh, language level by NOPing out the uh, call instruction. So the first step is to extract just the five bytes of the uh, instruction I want to modify into a text file because text is much easier to modify than binary. So here I'm going to use xxd uh, Linux um, uh, this has tool, extract five bytes into a file called lifesaver hack.txt. Then I'm going to use a text editor to modify all of the opcodes to NOPS, which is 90 in hexadecimal for the x86 architecture. 
So I converted all of the five bytes to NOPS, and I'm going to save the text file, and then again run XSD to replace those five bytes in the um, Lifesaver executable with NOP instructions. And that's pretty much it. Now let's double check that the data has actually changed in the executable again using obj dump. I'm going to go look for the instructions in my main method and notice that those one call instruction has now become five NOP instructions. That means no operation instructions. And now I'm going to run the executable lifesaver and ta-da! No longer does it ask me for a password because I have basically removed the call to the password check and now the program runs without asking for a password. So this is the situation where we have hacked this Lifesaver executable in order to work around a password check. So let's do a quick recap of what we did here. We had a situation that required some ethical hacking to be done on an executable. Uh, we leverage our understanding of um, number representations, assembly, and machine code to help address the situation. The process that we used was first run the program via debugger to form a mental model on what area we want to modify so we get a big picture of what's happening. Then we disassemble the executable and zoom in on the instructions that we want to modify. Then we used a binary editor, uh, editor to modify the executable. First we extract the instructions that we want to modify as text because it's mo easier to modify a text file. Make the modifications and then update the executable using the modified version of the text file that we have. This approach that we just looked at can be used with any executable on Linux, so you can download any executable that you want and do this modification. You can do a similar process with Windows executables. Uh, remember that both Windows and Linux are basically running on the same x86 uh, CPU. So you can do the same operation on Windows, Linux, or Mac. There is really no restriction. Uh, the only subtle difference is well, for Windows, you will need a slightly different set of tools than what we use on Linux because Windows uses a portable executable format to store uh, executable files. But other than just the format, the tools and the concepts and ideas are identical on all operating systems. Hope you found this video useful and interesting. Happy hacking!